Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Uh, just recently we did a tutorial about how to use Topia and Poplet for some descriptive writing. So I thought I'd show you uh, some student work that has happened as a result of it. So this is a student's work here. You can see that in the middle I've uh, erased the person's name and, and photo obviously, but you can see here some beautiful descriptive writing using Topia um, and screenshots of Topia as a stimulus. So this uh, student here has done a wonderful job of taking different uh, snapshots within Topia. And the powerful thing about this is the student has actually created the world and therefore is able to describe it a little bit more. So here I've got, uh, she has made a, a very barren type land. Uh, and it reads, as I intricately stepped off the broken ship, I was breathless. This island was was completely lonely, lifeless. I was trying to think positively, but it was so, so exceedingly hard. My heart was pounding like an elephant in anger. How was I going to survive? So you can see here that the students have really um, been inspired by the worlds that they have created, and even the creatures that have actually come in here. If I actually come in a little bit more, um, you can see here um, we actually introduced uh, some characters and some species inside Topia and the students actually um, started writing about that. You can see the beautiful worlds that they created um, and the descriptive writing that each of the students actually came in. So um, I just wanted to show you that as a way of seeing that um, the tutorials that we put on this channel uh, really is inspiring some wonderful writing in all curriculum areas. And if you haven't seen the Topia and Poplet descripting, descriptive writing tutorial, have a look at it and maybe your students can produce some wonderful descriptive writing like we've seen here today. Paul Hamilton here signing off.